Welcome back everybody. In today's video, we are going to design the Starbucks landing page with an interesting scroll effect. As you already know, we just start with two blank pages with just a simple nav bar and a background that I designed using different shapes and colors. Here you can see I've already prepared all the assets and I will leave it to you in the Figma file. Firstly, let's open a plugin called Mockup to, well, create the mockup of a phone. Just go to the search button and type any phone you would like and check if the mockup you want is free. To add a background, just click on the plus button and add your image. I got mine from taking a screenshot of the Starbucks page. We can now go on and grab our pen tool and start shaping the interior of the phone for the masking effect. Now take your image and place it on top of the shape you just created and click the mask button. That will create a mask of the image which will make it look like it came out of the phone. On top of all that, we can add other images to make it look better and modify the vector so everything can blend perfectly. We group everything and put it in place. Now let's attack the Starbucks cup. First, just as for the phone, let's create a shape of the cup's body. Then create a rectangle the size of the shape, and let's start designing. Put this design over the shape and hit the mask button. To make it look more realistic, go to Effect and change the path through to Multiply. And there you go. Put the cup aside and let's assemble the first page. We can now head on to the second page and design it as well. Let's first take our drinks and start placing them on the page Make sure they are about the same size and align. Take our first circle and place it under the first image. Make a copy of this circle. So now we have two circle under each other. Take the upper one and make a mask with the image. So you get this crop effect on the image. Once you're done that, make the same thing for the other image. Now it's just a matter of design, so I'm speeding this part up. Now it's going to get a little bit more difficult. First go to the first page and group everything together except the nav bar which you will put at the very top. Now make a rectangle the size of the frame. Put it all the way back and make a mask with the group you just created. Now take the second page, add it to the first and put it all the way back even behind the mask group. Now take the cup, scale it up using the scale function by pressing K and add it to the page make sure it is in front of everything. At this point, you should have something in this order, the cup, the nav bar, the mass group, and the second page. Now let's head over to the prototyping part. 
make two copies of this page. On the first one, do as I do. Just drag everything up and down so you can have that sliding effect. We'll go to the second one. Hide the mask group a moment and do the same process you did again. As for the last one, the take the cup and slide it to the other side, but make sure to keep the same y-axis and the same scale size. Don't forget to move the design group so you can have the 3D rotation effect. Also grab the rectangle you used for the mask group preview you'll see and slide it to the left. Now for the setting, link the first copy to the second with uh, after delay, 200, smart animate, 3,500. From the second one, link the button to the third and make it on click, smart animate, ease in and out in 2,500. And you can now check the result of your work.